Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video what we want to do is take a number and convert it to a Roman number. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is basically write a description saying what this program does. So let's see this program takes in a number input from the user and converts it to a Roman number. Alright, so there's a few things we need to understand before we actually start programming this. We need to know the symbols and their representation, um, the Roman symbols. So the first symbol is M and it's equivalent to a thousand. The second is CM which is equivalent to uh, 900. Well, really, it's not CM in particular, but the way that we're going to write this, um, we're going to use CM here. But CM does equal 900. Uh, then they have D, which equals 500. Uh, they have CD, which again is not just one of their symbols. This is actually a concatenation of two of their symbols, um, but it means 400. They have C, and it equals uh, 100. And then L, which equals 50, and XL, which is another concatenation of their symbols. And XL is 40. And then we have X, which equals 10, IX, which equals 9, um, V, which equals 5, and IV, which is another concatenation, which equals 4. And then we have I, which equals one. All right. So these are the symbols that we're going to use to basically make our conversion. All right. So now let's set up our program. So I'm going to include our library, stdio.h. And then we're going to create our main function. All right, and system pause. I'm on a Windows machine. If you're not on the Windows machine, you don't really need to use system pause. And let me see, then I want to return zero. Okay, I think we're set up to actually start programming now. So first thing we're gonna do, since we want the user's input, I'm gonna create an integer value and I'm gonna call it num. And this is going to be, uh, this is the user's input, and it should be greater than or equal to 1. So the user input, which should be greater than or equal to 1, which is the same thing as just saying greater than 0. So I could have said that as well. Okay, so let's ask the user for their input. Ask the user for the number input. All right, so I'm going to create a print statement here. So we're going to say print f. Um, please enter the number you wish to be converted to a Roman number. And probably, yeah, that looks good. Put a space there. And then we'll put semicolon here. And now we're going to actually scan in the user's input. So we just say scan f. And since we're scanning in a integer value, we do percent %d. And we want this value to be stored in num. So I put in num there. OK, so now we have that value, which, again, we're assuming it's uh, greater than or equal to 1, which is the same thing as it being greater than 0. So I'm going to create a loop, a while loop, that says while num is greater than 0, I want us to do everything that we're about to do in here. This is where the actual algorithm is going to be written, is within this loop here. 
Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check a few things about num. So if num is greater than or equal to um, 1000, then we know we need to we know we need to print the symbol m from up here. Right? 1000 is equal to m. Um, 2000 would be two m's concatenated together. So we're just going to print m. And then what we want to do is we want to take that original value, the number, and we want to set it equal to itself minus 1000. So now we're subtracting 1000 from it. So if it was 2000 right now, now it becomes 2000 minus 1000, so it becomes 1000. And then if we were to leave this algorithm the way it is currently, then it will go back in the while loop, it check to see if num is greater than zero, and it is. And it's going to check to see if num is greater than or equal to 1,000, and it's exactly 1,000. So it's going to print the m again. So it's going to print it twice. So that's good. But um, we're not done because uh, what if it was 1,001? So then it would print the m, and then it would do 1,001 minus 1,000. So num would become just 1. And then the while loop here would say 1 is greater than 0. So um, you know, then what it's going to do, nothing. We don't have anything for the one yet. So we have to keep going here with all these symbols and basically do the same thing that we're doing here with the uh, with the M. All right. So I'm going to use not another if statement because that would be wrong. I don't want it to I don't want it to go through each statement. I want it to uh, keep starting from the top, from the topmost. So we're going to use um, from the topmost, uh, sorry, if statement. So we're going to use else if here. So else if num is greater than or equal to 900, then we want to print cm. OK, and now our number is going to equal our number minus 900. OK, and we're just going to kind of continue doing the same thing for all of the symbols. So if num is greater than or equal to um, 500, then of course we want to print D. And then our num equals uh, num minus uh, 500. Okay, and now another else if statement. If num is greater than or equal to 400, then we want to print um, CD. And then our num becomes num minus 400. OK. And another else if statement. So else if num is greater than or equal to 100, then we want to print, uh, let's see, C. And then num equals num minus 100. Else if num is greater than or equal to uh, 50, then we print F. Let's see, 50 symbol is L. And then num equals num minus 50. Else if uh, num is greater than or equal to 40, then we want to print f. Let's see, 40 is Excel. And then num is going to equal num minus 40. Else if num is uh, greater than or equal to, I think the next one would be 10. Then we're going to print f. Um, we're going to print fx. 
and then num is going to equal num minus 10 and then another else if num is greater than or equal to 5 then we're going to print f uh, let's see it's going to be v um let's check the symbols here it might be uh Ah, we need 9. So let me see, 10. Okay, so 10 is fine. We need 9 here. And so 9 is going to be ix. And then num is going to equal num minus 9. And else if num is greater than or equal to, let's see, what's the next symbol? 5 now. Okay. Less than or equal to 5. Then we're going to print F V. Okay, and then num is going to equal num minus 5. And then we have 4, which should be IV. Okay. So else if num is greater than or equal to 4, then we want to print f iv. Num equals num minus 4. And last, but not, well, last and probably the and least, the least number or the least symbol, num is greater than or equal to 1, we want to print i. And then num is going to equal num minus 1. OK. All right, looks like we're done here. So um, let's uh, give this a run. and. Uh, Let's see. Uh, maybe I put another print statement here. Say print the output, and I print f the number percent d converted to Roman number is, and then it it should print out um, these symbols here. So let's see, I'm going to do uh, num, we want, we want this to print out the num value. All right, and let's give it a run. Okay, so please enter the number you wish to be converted to a Roman number. Let's do five. Uh, it looks like we're gonna put, have to put a space there for sure and maybe print a new line down here. So I'm gonna do that, make it look a little bit better. So it's gonna print a new line here and we're going to, okay, we have a space there. Perfect, okay, let's try it again. Please enter the number you wish to be converted to a Roman number. Let's try five. Okay, the number five converted to Roman number is V. Um, let's try uh, 2,222. Okay, so the number 2,222 converted to a Roman number is MMCCXX11. Okay, so that looks right. And you guys can check this as well. Um, there's lots of tools online you can check this with or you can do the calculations yourself. But that's basically it, guys. So I will definitely have this video, I'm sorry, I'll have this program in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Um, please leave lots of likes and any comments and questions you have. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And again, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.